Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X, y'all. Uh, in this episode, we're going to fight Sin. Now, the trick with this is you can't actually hit Sin with Tidus or Kamari, but they can take out the Sin spawn. Now, the thing about Yuna is that she's actually kind of useless, so I'm going to get Lulu in here, and instead we're going to have her cast some magic on Sin. And she's pretty effective against Sin, as it turns out. Now, if you only kill one of these Sin spawn as well, that's another thing. He won't respawn more of them. But if you want to keep on fighting them, they do give a little bit of AP. And you can keep on fighting these guys for a while, should you decide, you know, that's what you want to do. So, if you keep fighting the Sin spawn, um, he'll just keep respawning three at a time. And you can therefore just not even... This little trick... Um, but I don't really care about doing that, because the AP they give is so negligible, and I'd have to be here for, you know, 30, 40 minutes maybe to get anything, you know, that I really care about. So, I, I'm not really going to care about it. Of course, I didn't mean to kill it, I just meant to kind of damage it. That's okay, though. Um, we need to get Waka involved in this. How many of these things are there? The Finn, that's where they're coming from. Yep, and so we just need to attack the Finn. Regular sword attacks cannot hit targets at a distance, such as Sin's Fen, you know. So we need to go ahead and get Waka in here. So we'll go ahead and throw a Waka in here just so he can get the experience. And we'll attack. Now, his attacks are noticeably weaker. So it's not going to stay like this forever. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll keep on using Lulu to deal some fire damage. And we're probably just about at that point where I feel comfortable pulling Yuna into the fight. And uh, we'll go ahead and have her summon NCS. Now that I've had everybody involved in the fight. So I'm going to try to get NCS's overdrive filled so I can use it on Sin's Fin. And if we can do that, that'll be pretty awesome. Now the trick with Sin is that he does give some AP. He gives... Um, 10 AP, actually, which is, like, not bad. If we overkill Sin, then we'll get, um... Uh, hold on, let's see. If we overkill Sin, we'll get 15. Oh, and it'll actually just let me attack Sin. Look at that. I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm gonna just try to get the overdrive setup so that way I can overkill him. I don't 100% know how I'm going to do that. Let's attack you, because I think I'll actually be able to kill you. No, I didn't. Uh-oh. I really hope that my Aeon doesn't die. That wouldn't be good if that happened. Uh-oh. Oh, crap, you guys. Uh. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's just attack you and hope that I don't end up dying. Oh my gosh. That's too close. I think we'll be able to use the overdrive on Sin, though. We sure will. Okay, so we're going to use Energy Black because it is much more powerful. So here we go. And this should kill him, actually. Oh, dude, that totally overkilled him. Now, that fight was actually pretty easy, but you wouldn't believe it. We have another one. Uh, 
Well, we're screwed. No, we're not, actually. So now we're fighting the Sin Spawn Acules, I think is what it's called. And uh, this is actually a legitimately kind of tough fight. And I have died on this fight before. So we do want to be a little bit careful here. But since neither uh, Waka or Tidus ended up dealing, uh, getting dealt any kind of damage, I think they're going to come in with full HP, which means that this fight's going to start off a lot better. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that. Dolphins. And here. And here's the Sin Spawn. Oh, it's got a giant jellyfish. Now, with this fight, I do recommend that we actually go ahead and do a cheer. That'll provide a little bit of defense, and I think a little bit of strength, unless I'm wrong. And then we'll go ahead and use a dark attack on the scent spawn. Now, his little enemies here that he has are obnoxious, but they're not really that annoying. They, they deal a little bit of damage, but I'd much rather just focus on dealing damage to the main body for right now. Because he has 2,000 HP, and that's a good bit. Now, we can also get... Uh, we could get up to 18 AP if we... Um, if we... Um, overkill him, but I don't know if we're going to, honestly. Let's just keep on attacking the main guy and see what happens. It is possible that one of our, you know, between Titus or Titus, I, I'm still going to be wrestling with that, between Titus and uh, Waka, we could potentially get an overdrive, but I don't know if we will or not. Um, we'll just attack again. And I think we need to get Dark Attack on him one more time. Ow. Ow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Potion on Waka. Since he's a little bit low and I'd rather not have him die on me now. Well, there's some more enemies. And we're just going to basically keep on doing the exact same thing we've been doing, just kind of hack and slash until we get, you know, a little bit more enemy variety and a little bit more um, strength and, you know, abilities. The The beginning of this game is pretty straightforward. It's pretty difficult to, uh, to lose. I don't know if this attack is going to miss or automatically still hit us, even though he's blind. It still hits us. Not good. Let's use a potion on Titus. Just to be safe. And we'll attack him one more time. I do not believe we're going to end up getting an overdrive. We could really fish for it. Let's see what I did there. Uh, fish for it if we wanted to, but, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> Alright, well, there goes the Sin Spawn. And there we go. We got a pretty good amount of uh, of AP there. We got some good gill. We got a whole bunch of extra spears that we can use on the sphere grid. Um, we even got some equipment for Waka. This air conditioner, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. That looks a little menacing, doesn't it? be terrifying on levels I can't even explain.
And it's like what's even crazier about this fight to me is that like Sin is just sitting here in the water doing kind of sort of nothing. He is a pretty scary looking enemy though, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, look at that. He's just kind of sitting in the water. Kind of sad. Actually, it's really sad. And uh, we'll see some more of when how sad it is in a little bit. That day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. It is pretty sad for Titus, though. You know, he really did get kind of thrown into the situation that he, uh, he really just didn't want any part of, frankly. But we have made it to kill Caport now. I love this music, by the way. I have come so from good. The temple and be saved. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, oh, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please take me to them. And we'll have to save what happens for next time we'll on Let's Play Final Fantasy X, uh, because, because the next cutscene is a little bit long, and I, uh, I know that I'm cutting the episode a little bit shorter than I probably should, but unfortunately, that's just kind of how it is. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Catch You Guys Next Time.